Up first tonight, a jail sentence for a teen who climbed on board a bus, put a gun to another student's head and pulled the trigger three times. That teenager is Caden Holland, known as Baby K. Alexis Wainwright starts us off from the newsroom tonight. Alexis, the sentencing was connected to some video that we are just now seeing. Yeah, well, Simone, the judge went with the maximum sentencing, and despite arguments about Holland's age and risk factors, the judge said that the video evidence shown in court and released today shows violence and that this was premeditated. First, a warning, this video could be hard to watch. This one minute video showing the violent attack on a 14 year old boy is what motivated the sentencing for Caden Holland, who will now serve 25 years in prison. And it was appropriate in this case uh, because of the planning, the deliberation, the execution of what he wanted, which was to murder a child. Holland was just 15 years old when he tried three different times to shoot a boy on a Prince George's County Public School bus, but the gun jammed. Our victims are still feeling the impact of the decision that Mr. Holland made on May 1st of 2023. The impact of his actions felt inside the courtroom Friday after hearing statements from the victim's mother. She says she moved her son across the country to protect him. The victim and the bus driver say they suffer from PTSD. I hope that this sentence um, brings some measure of peace and some measure of closure. Um, to the victims as well as the community. Prince George's County leaders said although this isn't something that they take pride in doing, Holland had to face consequences. And it was clear that we had a mission today, which was to hold him accountable and to get justice for our community and our victims. And another thing Brave Boy addressed is how Holland has been in the juvenile system before this for a different gun charge a month prior to this incident. Now, when we asked Brave Boy about this, she says it's proof that the Department of Juvenile Services system is in working. Simone. Alexis, appreciate your reporting for us tonight. Thank you.